Tá. Que daí vê o azul. Fala só pra o desenho. Eu vou. Trying this transistor, which got hot. And that seems to have. Um, not really made a difference, but. So. Uh, I'm gonna. I've disconnected this board completely. And I'm still getting a short. Then it's just. Power's on. Power's off straight away. Doesn't let me turn the speaker relays on. So what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull these um, ICs out. Uh, A1695, C4468, in that order, a set. So A1695 first, second one C4468. It goes A1695, C4468, and so on. And there was a set of these transistors on eBay for um, quite cheaply. So I'm gonna desolder them all and pull them out of the circuit completely. Then see if it behaves differently when I power this thing up. So, by pulling them out of the circuit, I'll test them individually and see what they're like. Now, upon replacing this transistor, I'd like to put a new jumper, a new bit of wire on the circuit board to retrace it because the circuit board traces are pretty small on that. I really need a good soldering one for something that small. The Hackay one's put away in storage, but even that's not good because it's not adjustable. I need a proper soldering station for adjustable temperature. Okay, to save on solder, I've used a sucking tool, the vacuum tool. Then I'm just going to do a light, light, what's left over with that to save on solder wick. So, what are 1695? Double four six eight, six ten nine five, double four six eight, six ten nine five, double four six eight, and so on. My purpose of this part of the video, so I remember how they all go back in. There's a few methods I'm going to use to test them as well. I think there's another trick you can do, similar to testing an IGBT with a battery and a light bulb, which can uh, confirm if the transistors are alright or not. So I might try that trick on each one of these and see if they actually are alright. Either way, a whole set of them is 10, 10, 10 bucks on eBay, so they're not expensive parts, which is a good thing. Apart from the odd bad solder that this thing originally had, which may have actually caused it one of these transistors to short in the first place. But I don't know, I can't, can't confirm that yet until I put them all out and test them. Because it just powers on for three seconds and turns off, but the actual speaker relay circuit doesn't even trigger. The speaker relays don't even get a chance to turn on yet, because it doesn't power up for long enough for that to happen. That's the order that they go in on the board. Oh. Save on this one, ends on that one, from that side that way. They're out of the circuit, let's see if it makes a difference, just to be sure. Same thing. So we're coming on and shutting off. Now if I disconnect this board, it'll still do it. So you change on this component, and they've got rid of the magic smoke. Pressing that seems to have fixed something as well. Yeah. Interesting. Mm, something on this board's buggered up. The main bridge rectifier there. Okay, I put them up on this board then. It's in the power supply. I'm going to double check all these uh, transistors, make sure they're okay before I put them back in. Give them a double check over, and uh, yeah. So them taking it of a circuit all together, she's still got the same symptom. I'm still going to double check these just to be sure if they are actually okay and they didn't fault here to short and do any damage. I wanted to check that. 
from this board here, it's probably going to have to come out. Could be a bad solder on this board or something, but hmm, so this board here is what's shutting off the relay here. So this usually turns on, and then two seconds later, these will all come on. That's it. The test speakers on. Yeah, it's in the power supply section. Looks like it. Yeah, okay, I'll be able to top it back together, put the modules back in. Uh, they're supposed to be screwed out, right? Yeah, it's alright. Got the insulating uh, layer back in there to stop the components between these boards shorting out. I like how they use these heavy duty wires as tie down points. Really cool. Excuse me. You got one there. Really cool what Yamaha have done there. I like that. Good idea. So I'll let the layer that might be on this board a problem. Because I've got this board completely, but this board and this board are isolated. It's still doing that fault. Alright, so I'm going to uh, do one more check, see if it does it anymore. It won't even be turning itself off after 30 seconds because seconds, it was sensing that these were present. So I don't know, let's do a test. See if it does anything different. Power's off straight away. Hmm. Interesting is doing that now. Hmm. So they're all connected the way they were. I got to make the same way. They were pl plugged in properly. They were then correctly exactly where I got them out from. That's all plugged in. That's all plugged in. Everything's plugged in right down there. They were in their white spots. That's in their white spot, that's in its white spot. This board's in correctly. Everything's right in here. That's all plugged in right. No shorts in there. Interesting, let's do all that now. The capacitor's been checked, that's been, uh, let's discharge it. Swap that capacitor out, no difference. Hmm, interesting fault. This board here, out there and see what it does. That's all plugged in correctly. That's all exactly how I got it plugged in correctly there. It must be on this board here somewhere. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.